All right guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm basically just gonna take you through some key bits that I'm doing on my web development, which is an online course that's allowing me to learn the skills of building websites that will hopefully allow me to gain freelance work, which will then in turn allow me to earn a little bit of money so that I can work online instead of working in a physical job. So you're probably wondering where I am. This is looking very um, colorful, if you like. It's basically, I'm at my auntie's house. Now, I'm in Scotland. I've come back home from two years of traveling and I've decided that this was the best move because um, of a couple of things, actually. So because I'm at my auntie's house, my auntie has actually offered me her garage space. The garage space is my um, workspace, which is where I can go to study. There's Wi-Fi there. And it's basically a good place for a good quiet place actually for me to just come whenever I want to to continue working and developing my web development skills or by doing this online course. Oh, I got a wasp. I got a wasp on my laptop. Oh, a wasp. So for those of you that are wondering where I am on my uh, web development course, I have my laptop here. I'm just basically gonna take you through this course and what it's about. So it's like a mini review of this course that I'm doing. Um, plus I'll let you know how far I am and the struggles and the, you know, what, how, what I think about the course in general. So essentially, if you go to udemy.com and you type in web development, in the search bar, you will come across a course called the Complete Web Developer Course 2.0. Now, it's run by a man called Rob Percival. He used to be a teacher in a physical job, and now he's doing a few things online, such as this web development course. So, uh, essentially, if you go to the overview section of the course, it's basically, it just gives you a brief description. And basically what this course is, is it allows you to learn web development by building 25 websites and mobile apps using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Python, MySQL, and more. Okay, so they've got 306 lectures. It's got 30 and a half hours of video. Uh, it's for all skill levels. Um, it currently has 176,864 students. It, it's only language that it teaches in is in English. Um, now, when you get the course, it's really cheap. So it's about, I got it for 10 pounds, yours will vary, but it will be around about that region. Now, when you do that, you've got a lifetime access to the course. So, and it's also available on iOS and Android as well. And you get a certificate once you've completed the course as well to say that you've completed so many hours of um, an online web development course. Um, so now I started this course because I have absolutely no experience in web design or web development. I have no experience other than uploading a video to YouTube and doing some description tags and that that's basically my knowledge of you know, the online world. So I'm very new. This, uh, I was actually recommended this course for the two years that I was traveling. I have had people recommend me take this course and I've not done it because of various reasons. The main reason is because I've been stubborn and I've just decided that I would try and do everything on my own, which that doesn't work, by the way, if you're traveling. Uh, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna take this course. So I started this course when I was in Canada. Now, I thought this course was gonna be super difficult. Like I thought, uh, because I wasn't very good at maths in school, so I thought, you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I had all these doubts in my mind that I just wasn't gonna be cut out for it. I decided to try it anyway. I decided, you know what? I'll give the first couple of videos a shot on this course and I'll see if it's for me. So when I started, Okay, so now moving on to the course content. So this is breaks down the content of the course into its sections. So 
Uh, basically the first, or section two, because the first section is just getting started. So he's basically telling you what you're gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna skip that and I'm gonna go straight on to what I've learned so far. So the first thing that I learned was HTML5. So what he does, he takes you through an introduction to HTML and tells you what that's all about. And then he basically gets you to build your first website right there. You know, and it's a very simple website. Um, it's very, very easy. And when I did that, that's what it made me think. I was like, wow, this is actually a lot more easier than it's made out to be. You know, HTML5 is very simple to learn. Um, now, I'm not gonna go into any of the um, dynamics of it. I'm not gonna be showing you any of it, but I'm just basically telling you how I feel about it. Um, and it's basically a really simple language to learn, HTML5. It's very, very simple. Um, and this course basically takes you through everything you need to know about HTML5 in a really, really simple way. So it's actually really, really good. The second thing that I'm learning is CSS3. So basically CSS is, um, from what I understand of it, it's basically allowing you to customize and style your web page. So everything from the color of your backgrounds to pictures to media to font families and sizes and everything like that. So it really just allows you to customize and lay out your web page how you want it and how you want people to see it, um, if you like. Whereas HTML is more um, the content on the page. Um, so, you know, that's the differences between the two. Right now, I'm all halfway through CSS. I'm actually trying to reconstruct the BBC News website at the moment. So basically what he does is he basically has the BBC News website and then he has his. Uh, and basically he goes through all the coding to show you how to build the BBC News website. And what I'm doing is I'm basically doing that, but I'm trying to do it on my own from what I've learned in the HTML section and the CSS section so far, because he teaches you everything you need to know um, by the time you get to the BBC News website that you can actually do it on your own if you just put some effort into it using what you've learned in these previous two sections of the course. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. It is the hardest thing I've done so far. I'm not gonna lie about that. I mean, the, you know, trying to recreate the BBC News website when you've only got, you know, these two things um, in your mind, these two sections that you've learned so far in your mind is quite challenging. It forces you to really um, put what you've learned to use. And you know what, it actually uh, helps you to memorize everything that you've learned a lot better because you go and do what you think is right and then you compare it to Rob Percival and what he's done and then you get to learn where your mistakes are and then you go back and correct your mistakes and then compare it again and then you're fine and then you can move on to the next part of the BBC News website and you can try and do that on your own and then you go back and compare, you've obviously made some mistakes and then you just correct as you go. So I've done that, there's been times where I've had to basically take everything down, restart and try again. I actually had to do that again this morning um, because sometimes you get so far and the coding's just not right and you know what, it's just better to start all over again and build it all over again. So I did that this morning. Um, so that's basically where I am. I'm basically halfway through CSS and I'm basically building my BBC News website. After this, it basically takes you on to JavaScript. So JavaScript will be the next section to what I'll be learning after CSS. After JavaScript, it's jQuery. Um, after jQuery, it's Bootstrap. After Bootstrap, it's WordPress. After that, it's PHP. After that, it's MySQL. Uh, after that, it's APIs. After that, it's mobile apps. After that, it's HTML5 and CSS3 with special features. And then after that, it's Python. And then section 14 is bonus section, uh, Twitter clone using MVC. 
and then after that it's um, where do you go from here now there's a lot to learn and I don't know any of this like literally I don't know any like I don't even know what JavaScript is I don't even know what jQuery is I don't even know what any of this stuff is I'm just doing it I'm learning it and I'm growing more skills as I go um, which means I'll only be more valuable to employers and to freelancing employers in the future and you know what even if I never ever become a freelancer then the skills that I learn will allow me to work for a company as a web developer or start my own company as a web developer so this is what I'm just bearing in mind all the time so alongside this course he gives you an ebook and it teaches you how to make your first £10,000 in 12 months in your first year of doing this course and it's actually really good because um, when I've completed the first three sections, so I'm on section two, which is CSS, and the third section is JavaScript. Once I've completed those three sections of this course, I can then start applying for freelance work. And it's not basically, he encourages you to apply for the small uh, gigs to start with. So gigs that pay 10 to 50 pounds um, for you to complete basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript work. And that will allow me to build up my reputation um, as I go through this course at the same time earning small amounts of money because at this stage it's not about earning money it's about building a reputation and getting the skills that you need to, to be able to apply for those bigger jobs in the future so that's essentially what I'm doing um, and you know he gives you other things in this ebook as well on how to document what you're doing on Twitter, how to get hosting for your website, how to buy a domain name. Uh, he goes through everything and it's really good, really informative and that's what I'm following at the moment. So as I said, I'm on CSS, I'm halfway through that. I'm building the BBC News website and then I'm going on to JavaScript and then after JavaScript, I can apply for small freelancing work and then start earning a little bit of money and building up my reputation. So this is where I'm going with this. This is how far I am so far. And I have to say, it's super easy to follow. It's easy in the beginning, but as you progress through, it gets a little bit more difficult. But the good thing is, it's easy in the beginning, but the skills that you learn in the beginning allow you to be able to do each next section of the course relatively straightforward and easily so that is really good i mean i i'm just over i'm just like what's the word i'm just i'm just amazed at myself because i never thought i would be brainy enough to actually do something like this. I never thought I would be very good at formulas. I never thought I would be very good at uh, just complex stuff like this. Um, and to be fair, it's not actually that complex. It just looks complex to people who don't know anything about it. It is relatively straightforward. Um, and I'm just happy that I've come across this and I've started to put more effort into gaining skills that will allow me to either work for myself or work for someone online that gives me the freedom to work from wherever I want, whether that's from home, whether that's from a cafe, whether that's from anywhere in the world for that matter. I'm just happy that I'm gaining some skills, you know, because I haven't gone past high school for my education. I've not been to college. I've not been to university. So being able to sit here take out a course for £10, learn everything that I need to know about web development and just, you know, for £10, not have any student debt, you know, and then be able to work online. It's amazing. It's amazing. I totally recommend this and I'm glad I didn't go to college or university and spend thousands of dollars on a course that I probably wouldn't have ended up doing anyway for the rest of my life. Um, and I've found this course for £10. It's awesome. It's really good. And I totally recommend it. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions about what I've just mentioned in this video, then pre please feel free to leave a comment down below or get in touch with me on social media or by my email address. Um, 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care.